Rachel here with Yarnet Play Crochet. So today I'm going to do a tutorial for you on this really beautiful rainbow candy stripe beanie. I uh, whipped this up the other day and was just so pleased with how it turned out. It is really fun, thin striped, I call them kind of candy stripe uh, beanie and it has this beautiful rainbow yarn in there. And um, it has this kind of fun faux knit effect as well, but this is a crocheted project. So I will show you all the details on how to work this up today. Now this is, this hat right here is a child size, um, but to make it an adult size, all you would have to do is just make it a little bit longer. So it's very simple. It's a top down beanie style. So it's very adjustable to um, head size and what you ever might need it to be. So let's go ahead and get started. So the two yarns that I'm going to be using today are, the white yarn is Karen Simply Soft, um, and you can find pretty much everywhere. Um, it's a pretty common, popular yarn, and I got that in white. And then um, the rainbow yarn that I used is Picasso from Ice Yarn. Now that is something that you do need to order online if you want to use this yarn. It is available on Ice Yarn's website. I will link that in the description box below. Um, they do have this available right now. It tends to sell out, um, but it is currently available as of today, um, and you should be able to get it there. Now, if you, this it is sold in packs, so um, when you order, you will get a pack of eight of these little balls of yarn. And uh, don't let the shipping cost terrify you, because even when you do um, buy just one pack, even though the shipping is really high, it still comes down to $2.11 per skein of yarn. So it's not astronomically priced. The shipping, it's just because it's coming straight from the manufacturer in Turkey, so the um, shipping is a little bit higher, but your cost breakdown, even after shipping, is still very affordable. So don't let that high shipping cost scare you off. This yarn is gorgeous. It's great to work with, and you're definitely gonna want it, because I don't think I found another rainbow yarn in the States that has the same pop to it that this rainbow does. It's just beautiful. So um, go ahead and check out Picasso on Ice Yarn's website. And in the meantime, let's get going. I am using a five millimeter crochet hook today and we will get started. So we're gonna start by doing a magic ring. If you've never done a magic ring before, I do have a tutorial for that. I will link that up in the corner right over there in the cards. So you can take a look at that if you need a slower tutorial, but I'm just gonna do this quickly here a minute so you can see how this works. So lay the tail across your hand, just like that. Pinch it with your thumb against your ring finger. Separate your two fingers here a little bit. Wrap this around so you make an X, and then bring your tail down and just kind of hold it out of the way between your pinky and your ring finger right there. Now this X on top will be over top of this, X, this yarn strand here. So pop your, your hook through underneath right there. Hook the yarn and pull it through. And then you're just gonna wiggle this off of your fingers and then grab your working yarn and chain one and that will lock your magic ring in place so it won't go anywhere. So if you need a slower tutorial, you can definitely get that. Follow the description up in the cards. All right, so to start, I am going to go ahead and chain three. So that comes out to a total of chain three, including the chain one that we did to secure our stitch. So two more after you secure your, your magic ring, that'll get you a chain three. And then we are going to do a total of nine more double crochet stitches into our magic ring right here. So yarn over into that big circle space there, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and that's your first double crochet. Now do that eight more times so that you will have a total of 10 stitches into this magic ring because that chain three that we just did, that counts as our first double crochet. All right? And then we will secure our magic ring down and go on to the next row.
Okay, so we have our chain three right here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine double crochet after that. And then go ahead and grab your tail, not your working yarn, but your tail that you have here, and pull that magic ring nice and snug. Just like that. Now to join our circle, what we're going to do is we're going to count up and work into our third chain stitch, which is right there. So we have, right here we have our first chain stitch. Sorry, it's a little difficult to see with the white yarn, but we have our first chain stitch here, our second chain stitch here, and we are going to work into that third chain stitch, which is right here. All right? So go ahead and put your hook into that third chain stitch and it should look like you have two loops on your hook just like that when you're into that stitch they'll look like they cross slightly and then just slip stitch to join now I usually snug down my slip stitches when I'm joining just so that I can see on the next row that that's a real tiny stitch it's nice and tight so I'm not tempted to go into that stitch for any reason so just snug that down and then what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and chain two and we're going to start our foundation for our faux knit stitch and we're going to start increasing our circle around because this is a top down beanie. So that chain two that we just did counts as our very first stitch here and now in that same chain three space because in this round we're going to be working two stitches in every single stitch around to start making our circle larger. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a half double crochet into that same chain stitch that we just slip stitched to join. So do a half double crochet in that stitch and then to two half double crochet into the top of each stitch all the way around your circle. Now if you're not super familiar with the half double crochet I will show you slowly here how to do it. So it's just like a double crochet in that you yarn over, you poke it through the stitch, you grab your yarn and pull up a loop and it looks just like it would with a double crochet but instead of yarning over and pulling through two we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on our hook and that completes the stitch. So two half double crochet in every stitch all the way around until we get back to the start of our circle. Okay, so now we are at our last double crochet stitch here. So go ahead and do two half double crochet into that last stitch. One, two, and then you're going to find your second chain stitch and you're going to slip stitch to join. So here is stitch number one. And there's chain stitch number two. It might be a little tricky to see. If ever you have a hard time finding which stitch you're supposed to be working into, you can always pop a stitch marker in there right at the start of the row so you don't lose where you are and you don't get lost or confused at all. Alright? So don't be afraid to use stitch markers. They are your friend. I don't use them a ton just because I kind of know what I'm looking for, but if it still feels unfamiliar, absolutely use a stitch marker. So I've slip stitched to join and I've snugged down my slip stitch there and now I need to grab my rainbow yarn here, my Picasso. Grab the start of my skein here and pull out a little bit of yarn. All right. Now we are going to color join and the way that we're going to do that on this beanie 
is that you're going to lay it over so you just have it looped over your finger and grab that loop and put it on your hook. Pull it through the stitch that you just did. Okay. And now we're going to grab our working yarn from the white and we're going to snug that slip stitch right down. See that? So it's super tight and it locks that right in place. And then pull on your rainbow yarn so you don't have a big, huge gap right there. And that is what it should look like. All right. Now you're going to grab your working end of your Picasso and you're going to chain two. One. Two. Now, if you are have a difficulty finding that top chain stitch, this is where you'd pop that stitch marker in. You'd pop a stitch marker right in that second chain space right there, okay? But we're just going to keep going for right now. So drop your white yarn that you had been working with. Don't disconnect it and drop your tail and we're going to keep going. So we don't actually cut off our tails in this as we color change. We're just going to drop that yarn and we're going to carry it up the next row since we're changing colors every other row. So yarn over and we're going to start doing half double crochets but we're going to be doing them into the back behind loop of our half double crochet. So if I turn this over you can see how it looks like it has V's going all the way around on the wrong side of our work. And we're going to be working into these back behind loops here. And that is what is going to give us that faux knit effect. So if you look at the top of your stitch, here are your usual two V's that you would work into your stitch. And then that is just tucked right behind there. That loop is what we're going to be working into. Again, I apologize. That white yarn might make it a little difficult to see, but hang in there with me. You'll get it. If you've worked on my puffs and um, bead stitch beanie, this should be very familiar. So go ahead and yarn over. And on this first stitch, it's going to be the hardest to see. But once you get past this first stitch, you should be okay. So skip over these two V's on the top of your stitch, tip your stitch up a little bit, and tuck your hook in behind in that behind loop right there. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Now you're going to do that into the seam stitch one more time because this counts as our first stitch and now we're only doing increases every other stitch. So this is our first stitch here and now we're going to be doing increases every other stitch. So do two in that first half double um, behind loop. So that's what it should look like. Now yarn over and just do one in the next back behind loop. And then two half double crochet into the next behind loop. One, two, and then one into the next. So you're going to keep doing that every other, all the way around, increasing every other stitch. And every single stitch is going to be worked into that behind loop on your half double crochet stitch. And keep working that around every other until you get back to the start of your round. Okay, so we're up to our final stitch here. We're going to do two half double crochet stitches into that behind loop. One, and two. 
And now we are going to find that second chain. And we are going to slip stitch to join into that second chain from the previous row, the one that you popped a stitch marker in. All right, and then snug down your slip stitch nice and tight. And now we're gonna color change again. And the way that we're gonna color change is if you tip this up, there's lots of tails going on here. This tail and this tail are just loose and eventually will be woven in, okay? You're just looking for the white working yarn that you have back there. So you're gonna drop your rainbow and you're gonna pick up your white, okay? And then tip your work back around, pull that white yarn through, and then grab your rainbow working yarn and just snug that down super tight so it locks that white right in. All right, so that's what it should look like. Now, just keep going with your white and chain two. One, two. Now, if you're using a stitch marker, pop it into that second chain stitch, the one closest to your hook, okay? Now, yarn over, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing again. We're just gonna be increasing our increases again. So, go ahead and tip your work that First half double crochet is going to be the hardest to find that behind loop. It always is. You kind of got to work for it a little bit, but it is there. Okay. And go ahead and do a half double crochet into that stitch. So now we're going to have two half double crochet between our increases. So chain two, half double crochet and then do two half double crochet into the next behind loop on your next stitch. We're, we're spacing out our increases every time we go around our circle. So that's what it should look like. You should have a chain two, a half double crochet, and then two half double crochet into the same stitch. Now do two more half double crochet into the next two stitches, and keep working into that behind loop just like we did before. It might be a little bit trickier to see with the fuzzy Picasso yarn, but I promise you it's there. And the more you do this, the more used to it you will, and before you know it, you'll be in it every single time, no problem. So go ahead, and we did our two double half double crochet, so we're gonna do an increase, so two half double crochet into the next behind loop. And then do two half double crochet into the next two stitches. And then a half double crochet increase into that behind loop. And then two half double crochet into the next two stitches. And then a half double crochet increase, so two half double crochet stitches into the same stitch. And keep doing that all the way around. All right, so we're back around to our last stitch and do two half double crochet into that last stitch right back in that behind loop. Look for your second chain, one, two, and slip stitch to join. Snug down that join stitch nice and cozy tight. And then you're going to drop your white yarn. And then you're going to find your rainbow working yarn. It's a little bit tricky here at the beginning just because we have our tails still to contend with. So just ignore those. You want to pick up your rainbow working yarn and pick that back up. And pull it through. And then grab your white yarn and just snug it down nice and tight to lock it in. 
and give that rainbow yarn a tug to make sure you don't have a big gap there. And then go ahead and chain two. One, two, pop your stitch marker into that chain closest to your hook if you're using one. And then we're gonna start our next round. And it's gonna be just like the last round, but we're still just doing our increases around. We're working those half double crochet stitches into that behind loop on our circle. And this time we're gonna have our chain two, half double crochet, half double crochet, and then our next one is gonna be an increase. So there's gonna be three half double crochet stitches in between all of our increases now. So do your increase into that behind loop, three half double crochet into the next three stitches, one, two, three, and then do your half double crochet increase into the behind loop of that half double crochet stitch, and then three half double crochet, And then do your half double crochet increase, two stitches into the behind loop of the next stitch, and keep working that all the way around. And you can see how working into that behind loop is creating this faux knit effect all the way around. And that's really all there is to it for this whole beanie. So once you get done doing your increasing at the top and you just start going in every stitch all the way around, from there, you just keep doing exactly what you're doing for as long as you want your beanie to be, and then your beanie will be finished. So it really is a very simple pattern. It's kind of a basic pattern that you would use for any kind of top-down beanie. The formula is the same. Um, it's just the fact that you're doing it in half double crochet stitches and you're working it into that behind loop. Sorry, bumped my camera there, my apologies. Make that stop shaking. So I'm hoping that that is making sense. So keep doing your three half double crochets and then your half double crochet increase all the way around for this row and then I will meet you back at the start. All right, so we are back to the end of our row here. Do your last increase in your final stitch of the row. Look for your second chain stitch and go ahead and slip stitch to join. Snug down that stitch nice and cozy tight. Drop your rainbow and pick up your white. Pull that through your stitch and then grab your rainbow tail and snug that stitch down just like that. And then give the white a little tug, pull on both of them to make sure everything is nice and tight and go ahead and chain two with your white yarn. Put your stitch marker in if that's what you're using and we will keep going. So go ahead and do a half double crochet into the one, two, next three stitches so that you have chain two and three half double crochet and then do your increase because now we're gonna have four half double crochet stitches between our increases. So half double crochet into the next four behind loops. Now if you have a smaller head or you're working this up um, possibly for a child with a smaller head, after this row is when you would stop increasing and you would just start working your beanie downwards. Um, but I have a large head. My children all have large heads. 
And for I have found that for them and for me, uh, the best way to do it is to have um, one more row of increasing. But if you are making this for a smaller person, then I would recommend just starting to work um, your rows straight with no more increases after this row. So we did our increase here, one, two, three, four, half double crochet, increase here, one, two, three, four, half double crochet, increase again. and then four half double crochet and keep following that formula all the way around, continuing to work in that behind loop because that's what we're gonna do. The entire hat is working into that behind loop and then I will meet you back around. All right, so we are back to our last stitch here. Do your last increase into your last stitch of the row. Oop. Accidentally hook some Picasso there. And then find your second chain, one, two. Slip stitch to join. Snug that slip stitch join down. Drop your white. Pick up your Picasso, pull it through, and then snug it right down. Pull on that white tail. And then chain two. One, two. And then we are going to be doing our final increase row for an adult size hat. So tip it. Find that behind loop on that first stitch and do your first half double crochet and two and three and four. So you have two chains, one, two, three, four half double crochet stitches and do your increase. And then half double crochet into each stitch for the next five stitches. And then do an increase into your next stitch. And then keep going around. So five half double crochet and then an increase. And that is the formula for your last row here. And you're just going to keep working this straight down from here on out. So after this row, we are done increasing and you will just work the rest of your beanie straight down from here. And it will start to give you that nice curved effect and it will work up just beautifully. So I'll meet you down at the other end. Okay, so we are back to our seam here and we are going to do our last increase into our last half double crochet stitch and we are going to color change just like we have on every other row. Find your second chain, slip stitch to join, snug it down, drop the rainbow, pick up the white, Yarn over and pull through that stitch. Oop. Grab too many things here. There we go. Pull 
pull it through and then tug on your rainbow tail end to tighten it down and give your white a tug. And then chain two, pop your stitch marker in if you're using a stitch marker. And then now, instead of having to remember increases and things like that, we're just going to half double crochet into every single stitch all the way around. And that is what you do for the entire rest of the half. Just half double crochet into every single behind loop on every single stitch all the way around. No increasing, no decreasing. Oops. The hard part is done. If you have gotten this far, you have gotten everything that you need to finish this hat and for it to turn out just beautifully. Now, if you have any problems or you run into any trouble, please put it in the comments and I will do my very best to help you troubleshoot so that you can be successful with your project. But you should have all the information that you need to be able to work this really pretty rainbow candy stripe beanie um, and to make it just wonderful. And now if you need any tips on sizing, or anything like that you can let me know but it's it's basically what I've already said do one less row of increases if you want it to be smaller in diameter for a smaller head and if you need it to be longer or shorter just make it try it on as you go make it fit you and that is the best advice that I can give you if you're making it for someone else and you can't try it on their head, just simply ask them, do you have a small, medium, or large size head? And then you'll kind of be able to figure out from there how many rows you need to be doing and what that looks like. And you just keep doing those half double crochets in every single behind a loop all the way around. And it just really makes this beautiful faux knit effect for the pin or the candy stripe beanie all the way around. There's a pretty rainbow circle. I love it. So this hat that I made in a kid size. So the only this would fit my head. It's just not long enough. So I would do a few more rows down here. Um, this is two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26 rows total for this hat. And if you want to, you can put a pretty pom-pom on the top. You can leave it just like this. It's beautiful the way that it is, but that's all there is to it. So if you found this to be helpful, you like these tutorials, you'd like to see more of this, please go ahead and give this video a like. That way more people will be able to see it and work this project up for themselves. And if you are interested, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I've always got giveaways, tutorials, in-depth yarn reviews, podcasts, and all kinds of fun stuff going on over there. So go ahead and check that out. If you want to show me your finished projects, your beanies, go to the link in the description below and join the Yarn at Play Crochet crew on Facebook. That way I can see your finished projects. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching this and happy stitching.